I think that uh, we started, the marketing department started pretty well. Um, yes, we are a young football team. We have three uh, sponsors uh, as we speak. We are still in the market looking for other potential uh, sponsors, including uh, Goyle. Um, uh, we are also speaking with the financial institutions to, to, to be part of this interesting brand. We believe that Dreams FC is a brand that is very, very attractive. It's a brand that adds value. It's a, a brand which is of the highest quality. We, we produce over the seven years perhaps some of the best talents you could have in, in Ghana, from John NG uh, in Ali in Egypt to Benjamin Tete in Standard League in Belgium to Emmanuel Ejesua, Royal Anderlecht in Belgium, and then of course the biggest, Abdul Baba Rahman from uh, Chelsea Football Club. I think that uh, this has been successful, or we've been able to achieve this because of the tacit support or and explicit support from our partners and we'll continue to, to speak to corporate Ghana to come on board. We'll continue to preach the gospel according to Dreams FC and I'm sure that given the kind of work we are putting in, the kind of effort, soon we should have more I'm grateful to Dreams Media, DreamsFC.com um, for all the good work uh, you have done, um, what we have done. Dreams FC, like we all know, it's on nine media platforms, um, be it conventional media or social media. And uh, these media platforms we have used in harnessing the image of all our sponsors. We are proud to be sponsored by ML Microfinance Services. We are proud to be sponsored by Rich Dawn's Catering uh, Services. And we are proud to be sponsored by Envision Entertainment. And all these partners have enjoyed enormous amount of uh, mileage opportunities over or on our nine media platforms. Indeed, when club club is winning games, everybody's happy. Our partners are happy. Our sponsors are happy. The, if the club is not winning games, they have every cause not to be happy and to express as such. But I think that overall, we have developed a relationship that is gradually going beyond three points on, on the pitch. And uh, all our partners, from M1 Microfinance to Rich Don Catering Service to our Match Day Entertainment Provider, um, Vision, everybody is aware of the vision of this football club and where we want to take the football club. And for which reason, yes, people are not happy, but nobody is in a panicky uh, state yet. And uh, hopefully together, we will continue to work and bring the team back to its winning ways. Again, on behalf of the management, the playing body, um, everybody connected to Dreams Football Club, we are very much grateful to Envision Entertainment, our match day entertainment providers, which done catering services for the enormous supply of sumptuous uh, food for everybody connected to this football club. And also to M World Micro Finances for providing the funds that is helping us uh, to fight and to provide quality players onto the football industry. I think one of the biggest ambitions of all the management of this football club is to continue to invest in infrastructure. Infrastructure includes, but not limited to, investment at Quayman, investment on the pitch, Quayman investment in the community, with the chiefs and people of Quayman. It also includes, but not limited to, investment at the Theatre of Dreams in Dewu. Um, and most importantly, investing in a new secretariat, which will be the home of this football club. And I'm sure that this beautiful edifice that you have here will soon be open to the public for them to know the home of Dreams FC. Uh, it also includes investment in, in transport, which is a key need of this football club. So I think that over this short period of time, we've been working pretty well. And again, we're using our various media platforms, be it our official website, dreamsfc.com, be it on Facebook, where we have over 20,000 uh, followers, be it on, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, 
on all our 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 media platforms to push and to preach the gospel. The we have a lot of quality. We believe in, in the place we have. But it's also true that um, the manager Charles Akono has called for strategic signings again for the second half of the season. For which reason the the two first names that came up were Isaac Mensah of Hartford and the other Mohammed from Kumasi Asantefo. Um, we will continue to pursue these targets. Um, Dreams FC is, is a club that uh, would always fight for what we think uh, we, we want and we will fight for, for these two targets. Because they are quality, you know, we believe that Dauda and Ike Mensah from Hartford or add value to the squad we already have. Um, beyond that, um, we will strategically see what the the next few days or how the next few days will turn out to be in terms of availability of, of top talents is it, concerned. Um, but we have a squad that is capable of defending our, our colours.